Our organization did not arrange for you to come over from the Russians just for amusement, number three. Johnny, AI is killing creativity in the art world and the music world. What else is it killing creativity in? Well, it seems to be destroying fiction writing, Johnny. Yes, fiction writing and short story writing especially. Oh, Jesus, what's going on? Yeah, there's a bloody magazine out there called Clark's World and it runs short story competitions as many bloody magazines and, and websites do. And it seems they're getting an increasing number of AI written bloody short stories sent into them, Johnny. Yeah. I'm gonna have a look at this shit. We'll see. <laughs> so yeah, short stories have always kind of been one of the, the key pathways for fiction writers to get their foot in the door to hopefully eventually publish their own books. And one of the leading sci-fi fantasy short fiction magazines these days is Clark's World, whose submissions are open to anyone who follows Clark's World's basic guidelines. Or at least they were open because ChatGPT generated trash has apparently clogged up their inbox so severely over the last month that they have closed submissions um, temporarily but indefinitely while they figure out just what the hell to do about this. Yep. Ah, oh, Christ almighty. Now, from time to time, Johnny, we get stuff from people saying, you're all worrying too much about this. Uh, it's not going to destroy bloody creativity. It's just going to enhance it. Jesus Christ almighty. Yeah, enhance it, they reckon. I don't know what's enhancing about writing the whole fucking story for you. He says these made up 38% of total submissions. And yeah, it's understandable that he'd just want to slam the door instead of having to read hundreds upon hundreds of AI-generated stories. Man, this sucks. Uh, he, had a, he had a cool little gig there until ChatGPT came along. Yeah. Uh, on Twitter, he wrote... Submissions are currently closed. It shouldn't be hard to guess why. We aren't closing the magazine. Closing submissions means that we aren't considering stories from authors at this time. We will reopen, but have not set a date. But Johnny, how, how are they going to control this? Is there, uh, is there any way of controlling it? We don't have a solution for the problem. We have some ideas for minimizing it, but the problem isn't going away. Detectors are unreliable. Pay to submit sacrifices too many legit authors. Print submissions are not viable for us. Various third-party tools for identity confirmation are more expensive than magazines can afford and tend to have regional holes. Adopting them would be the same as banning entire countries. We could easily implement a system that only allows authors that had previously submitted work to us. That would effectively ban new authors, which is not acceptable. They are an essential part of this ecosystem and our future. The people causing the problem are from outside the sci-fi fantasy community, largely driven by side hustle experts making claims of easy money with ChatGPT. They are driving this and deserve some of the disdain shown to the AI developers. Our guidelines already state that we don't want AI written or assisted works. They don't care. A checkbox on a form won't stop them. They just lie. Holy shit! Once and for all, that these people are fucking idiots. Uh, Johnny, you're saying any dumb bastard can, uh, can program this AI program to write a short story. It does so and then they can send it in? Well, who bloody cares about all this stuff? And writing a few children's books and illustrating a few children's books myself, Johnny. Uh, we, in the research, we found this bloody thing. GPT-3, and it uses stable diffusion to generate the art. We are going to be talking about this right here. This right here is once upon a bot. And essentially what we can do is type a little prompt in here and it's going to write stories for us using GPT-3. So I'll just type like a little prompt in there, finishes out the entire story, but it also will graphically illustrate the stories using stable diffusion, which is so cutting edge. That's awesome. I love to see that. I, th I think that's the icing on the cake for this particular website. Yeah, it'll not only write the story, the kids book for you, it'll illustrate it too. Johnny, this is just never gonna end. Yeah, that's right, Johnny. Uh, people just say this is old, it'll never take over and all that sort of crap. But give another 10 years or so, it'll be much better than it is now. You won't be able to tell the bloody difference. No, this, uh, this fucking sucks, like. And sooner or later, we're gonna have stories written by a bloody computer. Johnny, are we the only ones who care about this sort of shit? Surely not. Anyone who says it's not going to happen, Johnny, is just not paying attention. Born free, as free as the wind blows.